Hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing very, very well today. As always, I want to just take a quick second to thank you again for the support on this series. And also, quick reminder, we are doing a charity stream March 29th. That is my life appreciation day. It's going to be the 11-year anniversary of my brain surgery when I thought I was going to die, but it turns out I didn't die. So we always try to celebrate that day. I am working with a new charity. That charity will be revealed soon, hopefully. Uh, I have a cause I'm really passionate about and want to earn money for this March. We're still going to earn money for Extra Life this November, and we'll probably be doing it on their official fundraising day, which we usually miss out because we're doing other things. Uh, just wanted to let you know really fast, we have done a couple runs off screen. And when I say a couple runs, I mean I literally ran a character in, gathered a thousand gold, and then died. Uh, so not too much, nothing too exciting. Uh, I was just kind of getting my buttons ready for today. With that gold, I did buy some weight increases for our armor. I also bought a rune weight increase and a little bit of the spell focus crit chance. I think I only got one point or something in there. So you guys haven't missed too much. Uh, we are level 32. We do have a plan for today's build. And that plan is to simply uh, try to find some runes. Our rune collection is pretty bad so far. Not too much of anything to really speak of in here. And um, I would like to try to change that, I hope. Hopefully. Increase the duration of status effects. What if we remove that? And then add a haste rune? I can't buy it. Uh, right now, we're running an amplification rune. We're running a lifesteal rune. And we are running the quenching rune. However, we can't really stack up these effects yet because we don't have anything too good. What I'm really after is the double jump. You guys would know if you've seen the last video that we were going up against the twin skeleton boss at the end of Axis Moony, and they were beating the absolute living shit out of me. Well, it actually wasn't that bad. We were doing a pretty decent job of avoiding attacks, except for one gigantic rotating bone uh, that was proving a little difficult to deal with. Uh, I am wearing mostly the Scholar set at the moment, which doesn't do too much to benefit our Ranger. Uh, it does benefit our spells quite a bit. Uh, we have the Room of Lights. So let's remember where this is. We can go ahead and reveal this wall. Just gold at the top. We'll come back if we need some HP a little bit later on. Uh, the Ranger is one of my most survival classes, especially when I can land my shots. And have, I mean, you can just kind of outpace every spell. You can just kind of move away from it and react accordingly uh, from a, a very safe location. We do find a Stygian study just above us. There, There is some stuff we could use from the Stygian study. There is. However, the Stygian study is very, very, very difficult. The Stygian study has just as devastating of enemies as the third area of the game. And we have not cleared the second area of the game yet. So I'm not too crazy about uh, moving in there and seeing what's going on just yet. However, if you guys want to see me try to struggle through the Stygian study, I mean, we can try to do it. At least we know what we're doing in there this time. I feel like knowledge is, is half the battle in this game. Once you figure out what the enemies do, once you figure out the patterns, it becomes a lot easier. This is just a lot of fucking things going on in the Stygian study. Well, something weird has happened. Uh, we are already at the gate of Axis Mundi. This is three rooms to the right of the start of the dungeon. Two rooms. <laughs> no, three. Three. That is insanely fast. That, that is uncomfortably fast. What are you guys trying to hide in this dungeon that you don't want me to see, eh? Okay, so in order to get over to the other side, I am gonna have to take that teleporter. No chests in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Might be some good stuff in some of these. Yeah, it's probably nothing, huh? We're still full health, so I don't know how thorough I should be looking for chicken, you know what I mean? Or even just looking for gold, we might get chicken. Okay. Unfortunate. 
Oh, man. I was just a little too slow with the knockups here. Thought about the platform a little too late. Luckily for us, it was just a regular chest and not a golden one. Nice. I am so glad they fixed that. If I did that maneuver I just did at the beginning of this game's lifetime, we would have taken so much damage there. We're going to make the platform. Just try to outrange that person there. Dude, our poison chunks. No matter we're doing it from the bow or from our spell. I really like the theming we got going on here. The poison archer. Uh, we still have the Room of Lights up, so I think taking a health increase here is fine. And I'm actually going to move back to the Room of Lights and see if I can get uh, some healing. One. It was just the first chicken we saw in the first, like, three seconds and then didn't get anything else. Yeah. All right, let's see what you guys are doing over on this side. Let's see what kind of parties you guys are having over here. There's a very big spinny thing in the middle. That skeleton is down. Yo, mana gives us armor back. I don't mind that. It's only three, though. That was much more armor than that. Ooh. Nice shotgun. It was enough. That is so satisfying. Whoop. Not a lot of rooms to unlock things yet. And that was a dead end, so I have to go back through this okay this room has <laughs> so many exits well let's keep clearing it the same way we started i guess <gasps> close let's um go through the right side and just keep clearing the right side hallways and see where it takes us nice dash stopping us from dying there beautifully done if i do say so myself and I did, dude. Platform giving us that poison damage that we need. Nice shotgun. Oh, that's so good. Now, I am using the scholar set, which doesn't do our ranger too much, too many favors uh, normally. However, and I just wanted to have the whole set. I don't know. I wanted to try to increase my magic damage. It's not really doing that for us just yet because we don't have four pieces. Uh, hopefully we find some more. That would be in the same box that would give us these runes that we're after as well. Shit, I wouldn't mind finding any of those boxes at this point, especially when I've dedicated my entire run to trying to unlock things. You guys haven't given me anything to unlock. Steel toad boots. Choose the relic to reveal its power. We would lose a little too much. Until purified, any damage taken is fatal. Defeat 10 enemies to purify and gain 50 resolve. Risky. But if we could do it, it pays off. I don't know if that's a risk I'm trying to take this run. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's a risk for me this run. Although the ranger has been extremely good at beating up enemies. Two entrances. Oh, nice. The scholar's chest. This means we get scholar unity bonus when we equip this thing. And we have enough money to craft it. We have enough money to get our weight up. We can wear that armor. Don't get hit. Okay, I'm sure this will be easy. <gasps> no! Gain mana when you spin kick an enemy. That's kind of interesting. Be cool if there's a health run of that. Yo, two really successful rooms back to back. Feeling pretty good about our adventure right now. Good poison as well. Let's go. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Looks like this might reconnect on the left side. Uh, we already got the health increase. Do we just want to save that apple to full heal? I mean, the full clear is going very well. Don't get me wrong. I don't really know if we need it. I have a feeling this, this ranger is going to be able to get into Axis Moondy no problem. You know what I'm saying? Let's make sure we don't jump here before we gather everything now. 
we can start hopping up to the top. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me think about that. Leave it there for a sec. I do think a platform would be very good here just to get our poison off on the right notes. What the fuck was that? What hit me? I literally didn't even see it. I don't even know what it was. I mean, it must have been a fireball, right? It had to have been a fireball. That was the only projectile in the room. Oh, the aim is not good. Looks like we know exactly what we're doing with that apple. <laughs> Which is we're gonna go back and we're gonna fucking eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Full health returns to us. Full health has blessed us. Uh, relic on the far side. What do we got? Choose this relic to reveal its power. It's 25 resolve. Or deal 20% damage to enemies with a status effect. We have two different ways of applying poison. That resolve brought our... Or that cost brought our resolve from 125 to 100. As long as we stay above 100, there's no negative effects whatsoever. So that was just an upgrade for us, and I think it was a pretty good upgrade for us as well. Let's try to be consistent, at least a little bit. Uh, clear the right side of that room with many doors. Looks like there is a chest at the end here. <laughs> the thing pops! A lot of lanterns in here too. 1900 gold so far is pretty good for a, just a normal everyday castle run. I picked up a couple more chest rooms, just regular gold, nothing too exciting. We did miss this one chest here, but that is a full clear of the main castle. Onwards to Axis Mundi we go. Oh, we're greeted with some chicken here. There's a room we can go in here. We might get even more food, but honestly, honestly, what are the odds that's going to happen? And it makes me feel a little greedy. We haven't cleared from this side. <laughs> we haven't cleared from this side of Axis Mundi in a hot minute. Uh, so this might be a little bit of a challenge. Just got to get our shots down. There are chests close to us. First one gathered here. Second one. Through this room. Oh! Already taking damage. It's okay. Hold our ground. Bounce off that. What was that? Oh, God. It was going so well. No, Axis Moody, please. Please. I just want to live. What's my name? Lady Triss the second just wants to explore, okay? Yeah, enemy's definitely taking a few more hits now, but the ranger is so good that I'm not really convinced it matters. Let's make a platform here just to get some damage over time on this guy. Fire off those shots. We get up to another treasure chest. Almost 3,000 gold in our coffers so far. Remember to come back. Next chest is pretty close as well. Looks like it's in this room. Hey, how do you guys throw your bones through walls? You gotta tell me that secret. That's pretty dope, dude. Nice. Oh. Let the explosions happen. We're okay. Let the damage over time do its thing. That killed three enemies with one shotgun. We are gonna need to rebuild some of that mana here pretty soon. We can do that just by attacking this guy. From a nice, safe location. Another chest located in here. That's going to go through walls. Let's get out of this way. Whoop. Ah, damn it. Got stuck on that ledge. I was trying to make a really big point of gathering that mana flask because it does help our survivability. Silver chest. This one's very important. Here we go. Didn't quite get the timing there today. That's so fast you have to do that. Hey, you know what? I'd be really interested in seeing the developers play this. See what kind of secrets they know about. Seeing if they would do something different than me. I mean, I feel like a pretty good at this game. 
Pretty okay at this game. Two chickens! Destroy all targets, no jumping. Okay. So let's start from the left. Work our way to the right from this platform that we can stand on. A little higher. Might even be able to get that one. Although. <sighs> okay. No jumping. All right. Land? Hey! The haste rune. We already have one of those, but increased movement speed certainly is not a bad thing. Nice! That puzzle was doable because we were a ranger. Honestly, I probably could have just shotgunned it with our with our little poison spell. Stay back. Okay, this guy's shooting through walls. Let's not get. Ugh. Oh, everything's happening at one time. That seems like a recipe for getting fucking killed. It's still coming to you. They don't give a fuck. All right, we're going to have to commit. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Did it kill it? I hope it did. Something popped over there, right? Yes, dude. Yes. Playing so well today. Is this gonna be full clear in a boss kill? I mean, I don't wanna get ahead of myself or anything. That'd be a pretty goddamn epic run. If someone did a full clear Axis Mooney boss kill, I think I might have to come to their charity stream on March 29th. <laughs> Hopefully we can find a little more food in here. We are at the halfway point of Axis Mundi. This is where we usually start our runs to get to the boss. So it's not to say we're out of the woods yet. It's not to say there isn't a challenge ahead, uh, but we're in a pretty decent spot for that challenge. We have more HP than when we started. I can't do this yet. To the right, there's only three chests ahead of us. Which to me says there's probably gonna be some secret rooms ahead of us too. Wait for this guy to shoot, shoot him in the eye. <laughs> he is an eye. How do you shoot him in the eye if all he is is an eye? Nice. I think I'm gonna have to jump off those things to get to the top or Ranger platform. Also, if we have double jump, I think we would have made it up there no problem, too. Nope. Oh, not at me, my dude. Chest above us here. I want to say they moved these lanterns. I think you used to be able to do it from this side. It's okay. That was just one hit, and we had a shit ton of armor ready to go for it. I don't think the thing will activate from here. Something was ahead of me. Got it. Don't know what it was. Shotgun for those mages. Perfect. The AOE damage there is so fucking good. Hey, we did it that time. We've seen that obstacle before and I took damage. And I still can't make it up to that. Just a little checkpoint here. I'll read the lore for you guys. The dredging of the lake is complete, and almost all of the bodies have been removed. As per the estuary's orders, the bodies are being stored in the gatehouse by the entrance of the Karuglian Plateau. They remain there for processing. Estuary Nama is in charge of the burials, but things are moving too slowly. She demands each body to be painstakingly prepared so it can properly fertilize the earth. But the bodies keep mounting, and I fear we'll soon run out of space. My gut tells me something's off. It's not just the fucking rot. Man, I wish I could get those. Oh, we could probably hit that from here. Watch out, bow guy. 
I know how to use a bow too, my dude. I was going to try to dash out of the way, it didn't quite work out, but we get the Leather Helm plus one to accompany the Leather Weapon plus one that we found earlier. I really should take a close... Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Damn it. Poor, poor play. Poor play. I really should take a closer look at some of our armor just to see what's really an upgrade and what is not... Counting on the poison to kill him. I was hoping it would be a little faster. Hey, you know what? Fuck this. Oh, no, no, no. Not like this. Not like this, dude. Three, two, one. Skip it. We're okay. You stay back. You give me one HP. Oh my god, you're so tanky. Let's try to dodge these. Only one of them is a problem. I'll just back up, give it some space, my dudes. Ah, please! What kind of a nightmare room is this? No, you can have that corner, my dude. Give me some HP, though. I had, like, full HP this whole run. Now I'm scared. Wow, 4,220 gold. This is the most profitable gold. The most profitable run we've done so far. And we made it all the way to the end. That is a full fucking clear. Full clear. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be particularly good at this fight, but let's give it a go. So if I'm on the right, I dodge under. If I'm on the left, I dodge over. And we need to make sure we jump here just to dodge that stuff. Seems pretty doable, right? You'd think so, until you fucking get here. Okay, I got greedy with that shot. That's on me. I need to play a little bit further back. Because when that bone of his comes out... I'm gonna have to be further away to dodge it over here. Oof. I don't think I'm gonna make it though, boys. It's been one hell of a run! And a pleasure recording this video for you. I don't feel disappointed by that at all. Unfortunately, we do have one downside. We didn't find the rune we were after. We did get two levels on the ranger and absolutely astonished. Uh, that's not the right word. Absolutely eviscerated the castle in front of her. Lady Triss the second. May her voice rain down in the comments for eternity. Lady Triss the second. With the first clear of the castle and Axis Moony all the way up to the boss. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. We are going to spend that money before I send you out on the road, though. I bought three upgrades of focus. Or library. Improve focus. Raising spell crit chance. It's six out of ten right now. We do have a mage in front of us, not with the entire scholar sets, but pretty close. We're gonna lock the world once and see if we have any better luck versus this boss today. All right, big man, you stay the fuck still so I can electrocute you, okay? I'm not the biggest fan of this spell. You cannot deny just how much damage we can dish out though. Like our mage, I gotta remember to jump over that. Our mage actually has burst damage, dude. And we can set multiples of these down. I actually, shit, took damage again. We're okay. Let's try to get them both right here. Given the, the right circumstance. Oh, this is not where I wanna be. Holy fuck. 
I think that mage could have bursted down one of those guys if I had better positioning and I put all my spells in the right spot and didn't shoot them under the fucking bone. That's a pretty challenging fight. Uh, we're going to keep clearing until we find the rune I want. So uh, I hope you like that. I hope you're looking forward to that. Our next mage, combative and a diva with 50% gold gain. Uh-oh. Hold on. Test the spike again. Do we try it one more time? One more time? One more time? <laughs> oh, no. I can't fucking see. <laughs> I'm sure this won't be a problem. Nothing ever happens in this fight that I would need to see anyway. Okay, let's jump. We are going to continue to damage him, but it's not going to be much. I'm trying to get as much mana back as I can here. Get these guys to spawn on top of each other. Keep bursting, keep bursting. Oh! Yes, perfect. That is exactly where I want you to be. Let's dodge under this. Couldn't quite do it. Oh, God. Jump. Jump. Oh, that's a very smart location. Oh, we may have found a strategy to stay above those guys while laying spells down. That was actually so close. We almost had the first one dead. Huge, huge, huge. All right, guys. See you again next time. Thank you so much. Take care. Good. Bye.